Hey, what's going on, guys? I haven't made a video in a while. Well, actually, that's a big lie. I, I just made a video, like, yesterday, and, um, I was in Slackware using, uh, GTK recording my desktop, which I'm using right now. But it's, it's, it's not working for me too good. It, like, lags out a little bit. And I decided just to make another video. So. <laughs> well, besides that, I haven't made a video in a while. <laughs> And I would like to talk about the uh, console fonts, how to change them, okay? So, um, you guys know what a console is. Uh, it's, it's before, it's before a, um, window manager, okay? Okay, this terminal is not a console, okay? It's, it's running on your X manager, okay? But the console font is before x starts and in slack where you have the option to say start x okay and that's your default whatever that is okay if it's uh say xfc e uh kd kde uh, which looks just like mac it's all the way down to the button layout it's just weird man i don't like kd um and linux mint you have uh you know, mate and cinnamon and, uh, like, uh, I think there's another one. I'm pretty sure the KDA, yeah, pff, yeah. Alright. <clears throat> but, um, this is before that. And the way to access your console is Control Alt. Um, the default keys are F1 through F6. Okay? So, in my case, it's F9 because I like to add more stuff to everything I do. Okay, so if you control F1, you'll be in the console. Now it's okay. However, um, you you can do everything from the console, okay, um, that you can do through a terminal, all right. But the problem is, is that the console is like this big, all right. That's the layout on the console. It's like this big, and sometimes it's just drab, and it just it's not not easy to work with, all right. So. And that's what I've noticed, and I want to show you how to change that. Now, first thing I want to show you how to change it in Slackware, because it's a little different than um, what I was used to, the Debian distros. Okay, and let's go. Okay, so I have my Slackware uh, mounted right now. And actually, I'm going to sudo into it. Okay, let's say... Um, sudo mount sda2 that's where i have my slackware mounted now i can't run this i could record it on slackware but like i told you in the beginning of the video it just it just was not bad it was laggy um my commands weren't popping up on the screen uh audio was okay but it just wasn't the best that i could do all right so that's that um let me i'm gonna change root i'm gonna change root so I kind of get the same feel. Let's say mount SDA2. Yes, I want some bin bash, please. Okay. So this is what my Slackware uh, console looks like. Um, actually, the console doesn't look like this, but this is what my terminal looks like. Alright. Um, and the only reason why I say it doesn't look like this is because... Oh, God, where's my mouse? Alright, there we are. Is, is this here is just changed. I think the path might be correct in here. And in um, the terminal on my Slackware, it's like 4.2 or something. It doesn't matter. Alright. But there's a, a command called set font. Okay. The set font command, um, which works in Slackware, I think it works in um, Debian Distros, I'm not sure. The set font command allows you to set the font. Alright. Now, I can't set the font on a terminal. Okay because it won't let me, but on the console you can, okay? But you have to find out where your fonts are. You can't just, you know, set font bold, all right? That's not going to work. That's not going to work, okay? So, let's find out where our fonts are, and I'll give you a heads up, and there on our user, I think it's local, or CD in the user, local, user, local. Um, seeing the share, I think. Okay, that's wrong. Um, they are in your C 
cd into user share um, cd into font yeah okay this is where right here is where your fonts are okay now inside of here I'm not sure what all this other stuff is um, coatings and all that stuff like that I really wouldn't mess with it uh, you, know, you, you might render your system not workable but um, I do know in the miscellaneous directory here and you might not have this in Slackware but I do um, in the miscellaneous directory I downloaded some new fonts okay um, they're out there somewhere you can find them just type in some uh, you know Slackware fonts or whatever like that but um, set font say if I wanted to I downloaded these fonts it's a terminus font package that I downloaded um, these are the font names over here okay Terra U 32B okay and if you wanted to set your font for your console alright not for your terminal but for your console you would say set font say tear 132 120 132 B okay but not with the PCF and all that other stuff just 132 B okay and if you type that in a console it should work alright now I mean, your, your font's gonna be nice and big okay and it kinda looks like a terminator <laughs> so I, I kinda like that that's pretty cool right but now so you can now work with your console system now you can run on the console if you want to because now you can you know kind of see what's going on it's not so small anymore all right so that's what I did and it worked and I put it in a little script um, let me go to home home Doug darker I put it in a little script that um, allowed me to change it whenever I wanted to, which is pretty awesome. And to change font, okay. And cut this out. Change font. Of this H less. All right. So this is just a little script that I uh, put it into, so I could change the font anytime. I, I'm sorry, I can't get my mouse back when I'm recording for some reason why. But um. It's a stupid little script, you know, set a default. My default font would be Terra 128B, okay. Um, I made this this uh, program to take a parameter, okay. So, if I, if I have no parameters, then it just goes default, okay. So, if I just type in set font, or if I type in change font, my program change font, if I type it in, it'll go to, with no parameters, it'll go to default. If I put a one parameter in it, it'll go to a setting one. Right, which is still kind of it's mm, it's still set to default right but I could change this to some other type of font all right that would be my first font or whatever like that or I could type in change font um, two which is a bigger font okay so that's pretty cool all right so yeah so basically it, like I said it change font one would be um, uh, one size default would be empty and um, change font say two would be a bigger size okay and I could go up to three four or five but that's just retarded okay so that's what I did so I could change fonts any time that I wanted to when I was in a console and it was it was perfect it was perfect I could see what was going on and I could use my system a little bit better alright so after that got done I decided to um, I tried to, uh, the, 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 the leading issue still was, is that my machine would boot, and I would be stuck with a small, I'd be stuck with a small, uh, prompt, you know what I mean, so I would log in, you know, Doug and all that other stuff, and then I would have to, while I was logged in, I would have to type in, um, my program, which is change font, and I'd say one, and after I would do that, it would get bigger, right? Well, I don't want to do that. What happened? What would happen if I could put that at boot time? So that's what I did. Okay. Let me show it up a little bit. So 
if you if you go to in your Slackware, if you go to Home or if you go to Etsy, um, and you go into your RC.D folder, okay, you'll notice that everything back here, everything back here, um, if you make those files executable, because they're not all executable, if you make these executable. It's the same as um, with the Debian distro when you add it to your RC update, okay? Or these run at boot time, okay? You can see some of these are not executable. Um, AutoFS is not executable. Uh, Bluetooth I don't have set to run at boot time um, as a startup option is what I'm saying. Console kit I do have that set. Um, cups is a printer thing. I have that set. Okay, so that's what you need to do. But inside of here, inside of here, um, there is a default uh, option for an RC dot font. Okay, now the RC dot font file is not set to run at boot time. Okay. Not by default, anyway. If you're doing a Slackware 14 full install, it's not set to run at boot time. Alright, so all I did was, I changed that, and I made that executable. And, let's see, got font. Um, then all I did was I just put my, my font inside of there. It wasn't that hard. Okay. So if you put that in there, um, and you make it executable, okay, and you reboot your system, you're going to have this, this font's going to work. Um, now you'll notice, uh, with Slack where you get a lot of verbose output, and you'll notice that it'll, it'll start in like this big font at first, but then it'll just drop down. It'll drop down to the little teeny tiny stuff, and then after it reads and reads and reads, and it hits this run level, okay, which is, uh, it should be three. Right or right before three, all right. It'll hit this run level and then it'll pop the font back up. Okay, so then then you greet it with a nice nice size login and everything else, and the world will be gravy for you. Okay, so that's it for this on Slackware fonts, and I will um, I'm gonna make a video about Debian fonts because that was a little different and um, it was still needed to understand. I, I still needed to make my fonts bigger in the back end over there on the Debian console. And it's not too much different, but you'll check it out in the next one. Alright, so that's what I got. I'll see you guys in uh, you know, movie time. <laughs> I'll, make, <laughs> I'll make it right after this one, but you know, you guys have a good one.